I got a parasitic draw that I fixed. I was able to find it on this 2001 Volvo V70 XC. Oh, it is an all-wheel drive, okay. All right, so after all my diagnosis, okay, I was getting most of the draw on Fuse 32, which is right here, and a little bit of draw on the siren, which is right here. I also noticed that the siren didn't work. So what I figured out was that when I pulled the siren fuse, it let the car go to go to sleep here, okay? On 32, finally it would go to sleep. But there's a battery pack in that siren <clears throat> that would keep that the batteries died, discharged, so the car battery, the big battery had to constantly charge this thing, and there's a motherboard in that siren. So the, it would never let the car fully go to sleep. So I'd always have a parasitic draw, the main one on Fuse 32. But like I said, when I pull Fuse 38 out, which is the siren, Fuse 38 siren, it, it would let Fuse 32, Century Electronic Module, the courtesy lamps, glove box, and all that go to sleep. And I was my parasitic draw would be gone. So there's a bunch of videos online that say, take off the wheel well. They meet MIPS. Take off the wheel well, because the siren is located right here. Take the wheel off, access, cut a hole in the wheel well back over here, and then you can get it through the siren from behind. Or they either say, you gotta pull off the front bumper, you gotta pull this headlight, then you can get to the siren, which is right here. Well, I figured out a better way to do it, okay? So I'm just gonna show you. So here's the siren. I'm gonna show you, see what I did here. I took these bolts out here, took this one out, disassembled, took, just made this pull free because you can see, boom, there's a siren right there, okay? Real easy. All right, there's the wheel well that everyone tells you to cut down in there okay and then I took the bolts out of here and I could pull this and I took the bolts out of here so I can pull in this so I can pull the bumper a little bit forward that way I would have access to pull this light here forward see that now with that light pulled forward I can come right in here. I need two hands for this, but you can see here, there's a bolt on top up there. And there's also a bolt underneath that siren you can easily get to with your tools and undo it. And that thing will slide, that thing will slide right out of there. You don't have to go through the wheel well. You don't have to take off the front bumper. see it in there and that's it and now I'm just gonna put it all back together put this all here so basically on the other side you can see the bolts here I took all these bolts here it would have been this one took this off and then bolts up in here and then this one right over here and I was able to just pull that whole thing back as you can see and get right to the siren. It had a 7.2 amp draw and it kind of fried the, I cut it open and the batteries leaked and it fried the motherboard. So I, I got a refurbished one on eBay for 160 bucks. Slid right in and did a nice job of uh, opening that thing up. But yeah, look at that thing. I put that in, boom. Car goes to sleep, parasitic draw is gone. There you go, man. That's how you do it. Change out the siren on those Volvos. It's those battery packs, man. They go bad. Catch you later.